Now let us discuss about SSTF disk scheduling algorithm. Uh, we know the advantage of scheduling algorithms. Scheduling algorithms decides the order in which the jobs are to be executed. SSTF stands for shortest seek time first scheduling algorithm. Uh, let us see what is the advantage of uh, uh, SSTF scheduling algorithm. Uh, here we have to select the request with minimum seek time from the current head position. So from the current head position, we have to select the request with the minimum seek time. Okay. So that means from the current head position, we have to select its nearer value. Okay. Uh, now let us see an example with the help of the SSTF uh, disk scheduling algorithm. A disk queue with request for IO to blocks on cylinder. So these are the cylinders which are given. Uh, we can call these as tracks or let us uh, we can call these as seek time also. Uh, so 98 uh, next to second request 183, 37, 122, 14, 124, 65, 67. Okay. These are the cylinders which are given in the example. If disk head is initially at the cylinder 53, so the read write head is at the uh, 53 cylinder, uh, then we have to find out uh, the total number of movements that are needed. So in this problem, uh, uh, the number of cylinders which are given are 200. So totally 200 cylinders are given, 200 cylinders. So the minimum cylinder is 0. 200 cylinders. So next biggest one is 199 and initially the read write head is at the cylinder 53. Uh, so let uh, 53 cylinder is at this location. So here what is shortest seek time first scheduling algorithm. So from the current head position here what is the current head position 53. We have to select the request with minimum seek time. So we have to select the nearer value to 53. Uh, so to here we have 98, 183, 37, 122, 14, 124, uh, 65 and 30, 67. So the nearer value to 53 is what? 65. 65. So what is the difference between 65 and 53? So 12. Okay. Whereas the difference between 53 and 37 is 16. So the nearer value to 53 is what? 65. So next we have to process this one 65 so let 65 is at this location so 65 okay so next we need to calculate total number of movements that are needed so here from we have to subtract 53 from 65 65 minus 53 uh, next uh, what is the next value uh, so now the read write head is at 65 cylinder so for, for 65 the nearer value is 67. So the next cylinder is, uh, let the 67 cylinder is at this location. So now we need to go to the cylinder 67. 67. So we have to subtract 65 from 67. So always we need to subtract lower value from the higher value. Why? Because it produces uh, positive value. Okay. We should not subtract biggest value from the smaller value. So we should not write like, like uh, 65 minus 67. 65 minus 67 means minus two movements. Okay. We should not write like that. We should not write like that. Okay. Uh, next we are at 67 cylinder. Uh, so what is the nearer value to 67? So we have 37. So what is the difference between 67 and 37? 30. And we have 98 also. The difference between 98 and 67 is 31. So the nearer value to 67 is what? 37. Uh, so let uh, 37 is at, uh, at this location. At this location. So next uh, we have to go to the cylinder. 37. 37. 37. So we need to subtract 37 from the 67. So 37 from the 67. So 67 minus 37. So now we are at cylinder 37. So the nearer value to 37 is what? 14. 14. Why? Because the difference between 37 and 14 is 23. So 14. 
So let uh, 14 cylinder is at this location. So next we need to process what? Next we need to access the data at 14th cylinder. 14th cylinder. So we have to subtract 30, we have to subtract 14 from the 37. So 14 from the 37. Uh, so next one, uh, the, the nearer value to 14 is what? Uh, so 14 is uh, accessed, the data in 14 cylinder is accessed. So 98, 183, uh, 122 and 124. So the nearer value is what? 98. So the difference between 98 and 14 is lesser when compared with the remaining. So let 98 is at this location, let, let 98 cylinder is at this location. So next we need to go to 90, 98, 98. So we have to subtract, we have to subtract 14 from 97, 14 from 98. So 14 from 98, 14 from 98. So the data in 98 cylinder is accessed. So next one. Uh, so for 98 the nearer value is so we have 183 122 124 so which is the nearer value so 122 is the nearer value 122 is the nearer value next uh, we have to access the content in 122 so next we need to subtract we need to subtract 122 minus 98 so 98 from the 122 okay 98 from the 122 Next, the nearer value to 122 is what? 124. So, let 124 cylinder is at this location. So, next we need to go to 124 cylinder to access the data. So, next 124 minus 122. 124 minus 122. So, next one, what is the last one? 183. So, let 183 is at this, at this location. So, next we have to access 183. So, what is the operation? Uh, 183 minus 183 minus 124 so 183 minus 124 okay uh, so if you do uh, uh, subtractions and a series of subtractions and addition we will get the result as 236 so here total number of head movements that are needed are 236 okay so this is about uh, SSDF disk scheduling algorithm so SSDF stands for shortest seek time first scheduling algorithm so from the current head position we have to select the shortest seek time we have to select the minimum request okay from the current head position we have to select the minimum head position so we can say that SSTF disk scheduling algorithm is better than FCFS scheduling algorithm because here if you use SSTF then we require only minimum number of movements, okay.